doing, we're going to solve each of these proportions. And since there's so many, I'm going to go pretty fast. So basically what we're doing is we're cross multiplying and solving for the variable. And I'm crossing up this way. So you're going to have 8 equals 2x. Divide both sides by 2. So x equals 4. So that's basically what we're doing. So the next one, 1 third equals 3 divided by y. Um, you don't have to cross. You can cross a different way, but that's how I do it. So y times 1 is just y equals 9. And if you plug it back in here, you see that uh, 1 third is the reduction of 3 ninths. So it should um, even out. The next one, we have z divided by 4 equals 15 divided by 12. Cross multiply, so you get 12z equals um, 4 times 15. So 12z, uh, divide both sides by 12. And um, you cross that out. And I also do this, so if you don't use a calculator, you could say 4 goes into 12 three times. So now you have 15 divided by 3, which is 5. Or you could have reduced that from the very beginning if you wanted to. So if you'd have done that, you'd have gotten uh, divide both the numerator and the denominator by 3. You would have got 5 divided by 4, and that would have given you a z equals 5. Okay, the next one, uh, 6 divided by a equals 3 divided by 12, cross multiply, 6 times 12 equals 3a, divide both sides by 3, 3 goes into 6 2 times, so 2 times 12 equals 24, which equals your a. And for the next one, we have b divided by 16 equals 18 divided by 12. So cross multiply, you get 12b equals uh, 16 times 18. Divide both sides by 12, you get b equals 16 times 18 divided by 12. If I divide uh, both of these by 4, you get 4 thirds and multiplying across you're going to have 3 4 times 18 is 72 and 3 goes into 72 3 goes into 7 uh, 2 times with 1 left over so that's going to be 24 uh, again if you'd have reduced this from the get-go um, you could have divided both of those by 3 and that would have been 6 over 4 <coughs> actually divide both by 6 and you would have gotten a 3 over 2 and it would have made it a little easier. All right, let's do um, the next one. Let's go ahead and reduce this. Oh, we already did that one, right? Okay, so let's do this one. So we have 4 divided by 9 equals 24 divided by C. Cross multiply, you get 4C equals 24 times 9. Divide both sides by c and you get uh, 4. You get c equals 24 um, times 9 divided by 4. 4 goes into 24 6 times. So you get 6 times 9 equals 56. <coughs> Um, I knew something was wrong. It's 54. All right. I lost my th thought there. Okay, so for the next set, we're going to cross multiply. So you get 24 equals 6 times x minus 3. As, uh, we're going to take care of the right-hand side of the equation by distributing. Add 18 to both sides. So that gives you 6x 
equals um, 2, and you add that, so that's going to be 4. Divide both sides by 6, so you get x equals, that cancels as 1, so x is 7. And the next two, we have 3, crossing up here, 3 times x plus 8 equals 6x. And the left-hand side is going to be 3x plus 24. When you distribute here, equals 6x. Subtract 3x from both sides. And you get 24. This is a zero property. Equals 3x. Divide both sides by 3. And x equals 8. <coughs> and the last one, 8x equals 24 times x minus uh, 12. Uh, since I don't want to use a calculator, I'm going to go ahead and divide both sides by 8. 8 goes into 24 3 times. So now I can simplify this by saying x equals 3x minus 36. <coughs> if I subtract 3x from both sides, I get negative 2x equals negative 36. Divide both sides by negative 2, and you get x equals 18. And that's it. Thank you. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.